Hello, my name is DB and I'm in DB Studios. Welcome to all things brass and technology. On the channel today, I want to talk about this horn. And this is an episode of the Geek Corner. I want to geek out on this horn. This is a Getson Edwards Generation 1. Let me give you another shot of this. Yes. It's a great horn. Getson Edwards Generation 1. Let's talk about this horn and geek out with it. Let's get it. Getson Edwards Gen 1. Let's geek out with this. Let me take you through it. So, years ago, maybe around 2010, 11, 12, 13-ish, you know, I was on tour with some band, I can't even remember. And uh, I was going through, I, where, where is the Getson factory? I think it's Wisconsin, somewhere. Yes. I, w I played Madison, and I think they were close to Madison. I can't remember exactly where they are in Wisconsin. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. And, uh, you know, um, well, actually, let me just do this. Okay, Google. Where is the Getson Edwards factory? These came back from a search. Yes. Where are these guys? Let's check this out real quick. Uh, let's do this together. Let me see where I can see. They are in Elkhorn. Yes, they are in Elkhorn. You see how easy that is? Okay. So I was playing in Madison, and I reached out to uh, Christian Griego, I think his name is, and I said, hey, man, I'm very interested in your horns. I'm going to be in Madison. So he said, hey, man, come out. You know, it's not too far, and uh, we could spend the day. If you have a day off, and I did, and we could go through some stuff. So I went and I meet, met with Christian, and we put together a Gen 3 horn. Okay? Now, that horn I played for years, like maybe three years, and it was killing. But at some point, I felt that it didn't have enough core, like Bach core. And I sold it. I shouldn't have sold it. Because, you know, I started revisiting my discography, uh, you know, my records that I've, you know, my body of work. And when I went back to that period, I was like, wow, I could trace the horn that I was playing to those periods. Like my Christmas record, that's that horn. And I like the sound on the very, very Christmas. So I was like, dag, D, you dropped the ball on that one, man, the, 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 the Edwards horns. That Gen 3 was killing. Now, I don't know about this X13 and all this new stuff they have. I've never tried that stuff. Well, actually, I think I tried the X13 at one of the music shops in Boston. It was okay. It wasn't like the Gen 3. Maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know. But I, people seem to like these X13s. Or I think that's what it's called. But it didn't vibrate like my Gen 3. So I said, yo, D, you need to get a Gen 3 again. Now, I've been looking, looking, looking. They were hard, you know, it was hard to get. And a Gen 1 came up, which is this. It was very short money. It was cheap. So I said, well, okay, let me grab it. Gen 1. And this horn is killing. Okay. We're geeking out. What I'm feeling is, I think... Gets in Edwards, they, ha they had something with his Gen 1, 2, and 3 horns. I don't know about the Gen X, but the Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3, they were making some really great horns in that period. I don't know why they abandoned it, but these horns, Gen 1 through 3, I'll say it, are some of my favorite trumpets. Now, I love Shelky. That's my main horn, the X3. I love Monet. Yes. I love Lotus. I love Bach. And I'm getting very fond of Carol Brass. You better watch it. Carol Brass is coming for you, trumpet manufacturers. 
You better watch this. Carol Bass, they're doing some incredible stuff. So I will put them on this list 100%. You dig? But these gen, you know, generation one, two, and three horns are really killing. So let me take you through this horn. Yes, let's get it. Okay, so let me talk this horn down to you and give you some information about it. All you trumpet geeks, let's get it. I'm going to read it. Okay, so this is an Edwards Getzen 1 modular B-flat trumpet. So it is modular, meaning that you could change bells, you could change lead pipes, and I'll, I'll show you that. Now, for this horn, the exact production date is not known. But um, it is being sold for the uh, by the original owner, who recalls purchasing it in 1998 or 1999. So the original owner of this, that's the date that they remember. Um, Getson Edwards was contacted, but they have no access to any information prior to 2006. So they don't, that's, I'm just reading the research that I got. Edwards, gets in Edwards, if you want to come on this post and correct some of this information that I'm bringing, feel free to. But they're saying that you have no records going, um, you have no records before 2006, man. All right? Okay. These modular trumpets allowed for the, uh, in interchangeable bells and lead pipes, yes, okay? This trumpet comes with one bell and two lead pipes. Yes, it did. Okay. The bell is stamped CF22BK, which is a 22 gauge standard weight K mandrel, medium large throat, four and seven eighths flare bronze bell. For all you trumpet manufacturer geeks. <laughs> Okay, and um, let me see what else information we have here. The two lead pipes are stamped A2 and F4. According to Edwards, the A2 is suited for studio chamber, studio and chamber music, while the F4 is suited for classical and jazz. Yes, well, there, so there you have it. That's the information on this horn. So let's go deeper into this. Yes. So um, you could hear me playing this Getzen Generation 1 on a record that I released in December 2023. It's called All Things Brass and Technology. Yes. All Things Brass Technology and all... I'm leaving right now, bow. A picture of it, it's on all streaming platforms. Yes, and that's this horn, Getson, Edwards, Generation One. And on the mouthpiece that I'm playing, we're geeking out, man, is a Lotus. Let me try to see if I can get this in focus. Yes, there it is. Look at the bokeh, man. Boo! Is a Lotus. 3XXL. So that's what I played on that record. And that was a great combination. I was like, wow. What I love about this horn, or these Getson horns, is that it's, 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 it's like a Martin Committee kind of. It's very artistic, man. You can get a lot of colors out of this bad boy, man. You dig? You could, uh, you could really articulate on it. It's very sensitive to articulation. I love tunable bells, or I like to be able to change bells. You know, for years I played a Donald Bird, Blackbird, and I took it back to um, the company to get it modified so I could change the bells. I love to be able to change bells. on, And with this horn, you can do that, right? I'm not a really big silver plate player. I like raw brass, but... You know, once I got this horn, I was like, mm, I'm warming up the silver. This sucker sound nice. <laughs> and so, um, 
What makes this horn also special, as I said, you could change the bell, you could change the lead pipe, which radically changed the way the, way the horn plays. But this is the one thing that makes these horns special. Getson, if you're watching this, and I know Christian, you watch my channel, man. Mm. Bring the dial back to these X13s, X, 1300X, X, uh, 130,000, whatever you call them. No disrespect. I'm just entertaining. Bring the dial back. Now, my followers, my subscribers, and those who watch me and don't subscribe, subscribe, please. Help the channel, man. Mm-hmm. This is the dial. You see this little thing here, my fellow geeks? That is the magic button, man. Gets in love and respect for that one. Wow. Let me, let me focus. Let me bring this into you. See this little dial? You could turn it. So right now, the closer you bring that dial and touch the second valve casing controls the resistance of the horn or the back pressure. And it works. And it's brilliant. No, the, the, the video didn't skip. I'm just looking right at you. So you can look in my eyes. And I'm telling you, it's killing. So right now, look at this. Let me show you this little geek thing that they, these gets and geeks did. Now I could turn it and it gets closer. It's not touching it. Yep. And now, there it is. Now you could keep on, the more you dial this bad boy in, the tighter the horn gets. Okay? That is a great design, man. And so, while I, the, the setting that I like, watch this, is wide open. And it makes the horn zing. It just feels like free. Now, some people may not like that. I love it. You know, as soon as you tighten it up and it starts touching that second valve case and you could feel everything become more directional, if that makes sense, like this. But when that sucker's wide open, it's like, whoa. And from an artistic standpoint, because for me, everything is about art when you're playing, man. You know, now that's me. Okay, commercial players may say, hey, you know, you don't see a lot, you don't see commercial players playing on a Martin committee. Because they're slotting. You know? I'm a jazz musician, so I want a, a horn that's going to allow me to paint. I want a horn that will allow me to paint. The trumpet is my paintbrush. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get this, my geeks. Let's get this, man. Subscribe. Click on the no notification bell. That will let you know every time I release a new video. Yes. You dig? So, that's the magic of this horn. And so, the... The uh, lead pipe is able to come off. You just screw that like this. And then there's one here. See it here? Unscrew that. Blah, blah, blah. And then with the Gen 1, you have... This This is a little funny. And they, they fix this with the Gen 2. There's a little screw here that you have to tip, put a little Allen wrench in there and unscrew it like this. See that? Then you unscrew it, and then you're able to take the lead pipe off and put another lead pipe on. Now, I've been playing on the F4, I believe, 
And on uh, for the record, the All Things Brass Technology record, that was F4. But I've been experimenting with this A2 lately, and it's nice. So that's pretty much it for this Gen 1. So you could hear me play it. And all, on all things brass and technology. And that all things brass and technology records. We're blasting off to the moon, man. We're going in with, you know, I'm going in with effects and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. We blast off on that one. That was a fun record, man, to make. You know what? Let me let you hear a bit of it. And then I'm going to play it for you. And then I'm going to bid you farewell. Let's get it. Thank you. 